here we are looking at red belt fundamental skills. This area is down block, sprawl, and short offense. The first drill we're looking at is a down block from an overtire or an outside grip. The big thing here is that we punch towards the mat with our thumbs pointed towards us, blocking the shot but not going into a full sprawl. It's instead of hitting a full knockout sprawl, I'm going to be able to just throw my hand down and move my leg back. So what I want is my thumbs pointing towards me, so I make a wall and when he runs into my arm, it's real heavy and I bring my head down at the same time. I'm blocking with my head, blocking with my arm, taking my leg back, getting that leg back. So the first two ways we're going to learn how to do it is from over, over ties. So all I'm going to do is hang my arms over the top, my thumbs are pointing towards me, and he can shoot with either arm. Just as he shoots, I'm going to move my leg back, drop my head, and throw my arm to the ground. So the hand that he releases to shoot with is the hand I'm going to drop and make into a wall. So as he shoots, I use my head, I kick my leg back, and make a wall right here. Alright, so we have down block and cross block. The other way we're going to look at doing it is from two wrists. I'm going to already point my thumbs towards me, and I'm going to hold his hands towards the outside. From here, I'm just going to get used to blocking and using my head as I block. So he's going to just try and penetrate in. As he penetrates, I'm going to shove his hand towards the mat, I'm going to block with my head and kick my leg back. As we do this, it's important when we start, I'm going to start forehead to forehead, and then I'm, that's how I want to start the drill each time. This next drill is neutralize, clear, and score. What we're going to do is when he's in deep on a leg, we're going to stop his motion, bring him down to the mat, clear the shot, and score by going behind. Right here, what I want to do is stop him, so neutralize his motion, then I want to try and clear my leg, and then finally I'm going to score. So if he has my leg up in the air here, and we're right here, I want to do a leg curl with the leg he's holding on to. I want to block somewhere here. And I want to spread the triangle. So right now, there are three points on the mat, and I want to spread that triangle as much as possible and bring it down to the mat. So I'm pulling my leg back as I curl it. I'm going to curl my heel up. I'm going to kick my leg back and spread the triangle to bring it down to the mat. From here, I want to slide away so that his grip goes more towards my butt instead of being in my knee. From there, I'm going to circle towards my bent leg away from the leg that he's holding. And if I can break the grip as I go, that's what I want to do. I want to slide so that he is all stretched out. And then as I circle towards my bent leg, I want to catch something on the back side, keep my hips in as I circle, block arms, and score. So from here, he has his head on the inside this time. I'm going to get my wizard over the arm. Right here, I'm going to curl my leg, spread the triangle, bring it down to the mat. From here, I want to slide, 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 blocking as I go. From here, I'm going to circle towards my bent leg, trying to catch something on the back side as I go, making sure he can't repenetrate. My hips are in as I circle. I'll break his grip as I go, block his arm, and score. So from the other side, Head outside. I'm going to stop his motion. Whatever I'm grabbing onto here, leg curl, bring it down to the mat. From here, I want to slide, slide, slide. Circle towards my bent leg. Break the grip. Block the arms. Lift something on the back side and drive through for my score. Right here I get my wizard, over collar, pushing down on the head, leg curl, spread the triangle, take it down to the mat, slide away, 
circle towards my bent leg, hit something on the back. If his grip's blocked, I'm going to block his arm so I can spin behind the arms. Our next two drills are front headlock drills. This one is chin and shin. What we're looking at here is to hold on to his chin, drop our ear into his armpit, scissors step, grab his shin, and drive at a tee. Ian, I'm going to cup his chin with my hand that's around his neck. I'm not going to reach deep. I'm going to cup his chin right here. I want to control this arm. What I'm going to try and do is listen to him sweat. So I'm going to put my ear into his armpit, and I'm going to go chin, and I'm going to look for his shin. So right here, I want to stretch, listen to him sweat. I want to put my, my head on my knuckles. I'm going to step to the side and try and grab this shin and drive at a tee. I'm not going to circle all the way behind. I'm going to drive him over right here. And then once he's flat, I can look for a cradle or I can just score my points. So chin and shin, listen to him sweat. I get him in a front headlock right here. Chin, listen to him sweat. Cross step, grab the shin. I'm pinching really hard with my elbow to my side right now, so I'm crunching his head into this little hole. I'm trying to make, make a little hole between, that his head and arm is gonna be between my arm and my head. And as I grab his shin, I'm gonna try and squeeze that hole as small as possible all the time holding on to his chin. So I'm right here, I make my circle, listen to him sweat, pull it as tight as I can, grab his shin, and drive well. Our next front head is a knee tap, and what we're looking at here is if he sucks our arm deep, we are going to block his far knee and knock him to his hip. We can catch him on his back or go behind. And pulls my elbow really deep. If he pulls my elbow really deep and he's trying to drag and I can't get this corner and I can't reach the side, what I'm going to do is feed it to his knee. I'm not going to grab his armpit with this deep arm. I'm going to reach, block his knee and knock him to his hip. So I need to slide my shoulder a little bit so it's on the side of his neck. I'm going to block his knee. I'm going to pull on his arm, knock him to his side. I'm going to try and catch him on his back right there. So again, from this angle, he's pulling my elbow. I can't get around this side. So I'm going to slide my shoulder, block his knee, knock him to his side, try and catch him on his back. Another angle. Right here, he's got my arm tight. I can't pull it back. I'm kind of off the chin now. I'm having a hard time getting this angle. So I'm just going to let him pull it, slide my shoulder. This, I'm not going to let his head pop until the very end, until he's on his hip. So I'm going to keep this really, really tight right here, pulling on his armpit, pulling my elbow to my side. I'm blocking his knee. I'm going to knock him to his hip by driving in. Right here, I'm going to look to catch him on his back. Let his head come through and pin him chest to chest. Another thing that happens a lot there, I might get him to hit his hip, but then it'll still be hard to catch him on his back against the good guys, so I'll hit my go behind there. So right here, I'm gonna block, knock him down, but then I'm gonna spin right away. So I knock him down, right here, I'm gonna spin and get behind. So we've got our knee block and our knee block go behind. We're in our front head, we blocked his shot. My arm's really deep because he's pulling it really tight. He's starting to turn. I'm going to block. I'm going to spin. 